hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x square minus y square is equals to 5 and we solve this problem for the values of x and y so here you see that our x and y should must be positive integer it means that we solve this problem for only positive integer values of x and y and now here in the left hand side you see here uh, this is the our very famous uh, algebraic formula you know about that x square minus y square is equal to x minus y times of x plus y is equal to 5 now you see here in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so here we need uh, some positive integers whose product is 5 so we have uh, some possibilities is that 1 times of 5 is equals to 5 and 5 times of 1 is also equals to 5. So here we choose these positive integers whose product is 5. So now we convert over this given question statement uh, into these two cases. Uh, so here first we write our case number 1. So in first case, uh, we just compare these two values uh, with these two these two factors with these two values, and after comparing this, we will get here x minus y is equals to one and x plus y is equals to five. So we call this is the our equation number one, and this is the our equation number two. So uh, so that uh, here uh, we. Uh, find the values of uh, uh, x and y solving these two equations so first we add equation number one and equation number two so when you add these two equations you see here this is negative and positive values are gone and we get here x plus x becomes 2x and 1 plus 5 becomes here 6 uh, so we solve this problem for the values of x that's why we need to divide both of the sides by 2 so when you divide both of the sides by 2 it will be written as this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 this is 2 times 3 becomes 6 so here we will obtain x is equals to 3 so this is the value of x which we get here uh, and uh, now here we substitute this value of x in any one of these equation and we get the value of y so that uh, we just substitute this value of x is equals to 3 in equation number 2. So this is the equation number 2 x plus y equals 5 and we put this value of x here and it will becomes 3 plus y becomes 5 and here we move this 3 to the right hand side and it will becomes y is equals to 5 minus 3. So here we get the value of y is equals to 2. So this is the value of y <clears throat> and now you see here both of these values of x and y uh, are written as in this form so x y is equal to the value of x is 3 and y is 2 so you see here both of these values belongs to the positive and teacher okay this means that this is the, our valid solution uh, or this is the, our first positive and teacher solution of the given equation and now here uh, in order to find uh, the second solution we need to write here our second case and in second case we compare uh, these two factors with these two values so here the, i can just uh, write uh, our case number two and in case number two when we compare both of these factors then we write here x minus y is equals to five and x plus y is equals to 1 okay so uh, here we get these two equations and we call this is equation number 3 and this is the our equation number 4 so here in order to find the values of x and y we need to solve these two equations and for this first uh, we add equation number 3 and equation number 4 so when you add both of these equations you see here this is the negative y and positive y are cancelled out by each other and we add these to x and you get here x plus x becomes 2x and 5 plus 1 becomes 6.
and uh, now we uh, divide both of the sides by 2 for the values of x so when you divide it by 2 so these two are gone and here you get 2 3 is uh, 6 so uh, from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 3 so uh, here we get the value of x is equals to 3 and now for the values of y we need to substitute this value of x any one of these two equations so we substitute this value of x into the equation number 4 and our equation number 4 is implies that this is equation number 4 and when you put this value here it will becomes uh, sorry this is 3 plus y is equals to 1 and here uh, we move this 3 to the right hand side and it will becomes y is equals to 1 minus 3 and we get the value of y is equals to 1 minus 3 becomes minus 2 okay so you see here our uh, in the given question statement we have one condition is that we solve this question for the values for the positive integer values of x and y but here you see that uh, this is negative integer value and it is uh, not belongs to uh, z plus okay this is not belongs to z plus so this means that uh, our second case cannot gives us the positive integer solution okay because this is uh, the value of y is minus 2 so uh, we cannot uh, uh, use this solution because this is not positive so that uh, we cannot consider the solution and we rejected this case so we have only one root of the given equation and that is x y is equals to 3 and 2 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos